Metro Boomin' and Future just released their joint album, and while there was easily a good amount of bangers in there, one song stood out to fans more than others. On the album, the rap duo hid their feature list and managed to surprise fans with a rapper no one expected to hear. On the song Like That, Kendrick Lamar hopped onto the track after being MIA for the past couple of years. And if hearing him on a new song wasn't enough, Kendrick managed to make his return into the musical industry with a bang that hyped the internet up immediately. Kendrick Lamar made it clear that he had some words for Drake and J. Cole, who have been labeled to be a part of the Big Three or the best three modern rappers. In the song, Kendrick starts off by saying, D.O.T., the money, power, respect, which is a play in words to his rap alias, K.Dot, and his own idea of what the big three really are. During high school, Lamar adopted the stage name K.Dot when he began freestyling for his classmates. Kendrick Lamar went by K.Dot from 2003 to 2009, but reverted back to his birth name for the sake of artistic intimacy. The name change was just me basically developing myself, he said to Hard Knock TV. Kendrick continues in the song by saying, the last Last one is better, say, it's a lot of goofies with a check. He's referring to his third big three, Respect, being better than the other two, and continues on by dissing Drake in reference to his collaborations, and brand association with Nike, whose trademark is a check mark. Kendrick goes on with, fuck sneak dissin', first person shooter, I hope they came with three switches. It's here that Kendrick directly calls out both Drake and J. Cole, two rappers to which he has been tied and compared to for his career. He takes shots at the duo, name dropping the title of their 2023 hit, first person shooter, as well as the title of Drake's album for all the dogs, and disavows the big three title that has been used to group the trio for years, even by Cole himself. In J. Cole's single he said, love when they argue the hardest MC, is it K-Dot, is it Aubrey, or me? We the big three like we start a league, but right now, I feel like Muhammad Ali. Kendrick ends his diss with, Motherfuck the big three, it's just big me. I'm really like that, and your best work is a light pack. Prince outlived Mike Jack. Before all your dogs get him buried, that's a K with all these nines. He gon' see Pet Cemetery. Kendrick lets both rappers know that their work will not outlive his, comparing his body of work to that of Prince, who outlived Michael Jackson by just under seven years. The two, while contemporaries of pop music for the better part of two decades, also had a well-documented beef that spanned into the public sphere, just as Kendrick is now doing with his two fellow MCs. There can also be parallels drawn between the two beefs, as Kendrick and Prince have been generally acknowledged to have deeper artistic values in what they produce, albeit a step below their contemporaries in popularity, while Drake and Michael Jackson have been two of the biggest pop stars in each of their respective eras. Kendrick has also shown love to Prince in the past, saying that he shared a recording session with the singer to get him on his 2015 song Complexion before time got away from them and a collaboration could not be finished. While Drake and Kendrick and associates have been trading subtle shots at each other for years, it is interesting that Kendrick has seemingly brought Cole into this as well, as the two have generally got along publicly, even teasing an album together in the fall of 2015 by rapping over each other's beats on Black Friday. Also of note is that Kendrick chose to go after Drake on a song with Metro Boomin and Future. While it is unknown if Future and Drake have active beef, the duo's rather prolific collaboration history has slowed since their two songs off of Future's 2022 album. However, Metro and Drake have been suspected to have disdain for each other going on behind the scenes, which could have caused Future to take the side of one of his day ones. I don't know about these guys that go away three, four, five years, want to chill out, all that shit. That's not me. Big Sean also came out hard on his recently released freestyle, and it looks like he was going at the big three on the song. He rapped, I think where I lack most as an artist is consistency. I just haven't had the energy to compete with enemies, or y'all so-called bigger three. But every verse I lay, fans love to say, man, ninjas asleep. As we all know, this isn't the first time Drake has been dissed by a big rapper, or a part of some rap beef. Let's not forget what went down between Drake and Meek Mill. It all started with a tweet, as many rap beefs go nowadays. Meek tweeted saying, stop comparing Drake to me too. He don't write his own raps. Meek Mill took to Twitter to call out Drake for not writing his own raps, claiming Drake didn't promote Meek Mill's album, Dreams Worth More Than Money, because he and his team found out that Drake used a ghostwriter. Meek Mill spilled more hate by pointing out that Drake is way out of it compared to Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole. He continued to say that he would have taken out Drake's verse off their song R.I.C.O. if he would have known that Drake didn't write it himself. OG Mako popped up in the conversation to back Meek Mill's ghostwriting claims against Drake, pointing out one ghostwriter, Quentin Miller. Some of us been new. Meek just put it in the air, he tweeted. Meek isn't hating on him, he's just being honest, he tweeted. He proceeded to tweet a screen grab of credits of a handful of songs from Drake's latest mixtape. If you're reading this, it's too late. That shows Miller credited. Meek then tweeted Miller's name, almost as confirmation. Meek Mill then joined Nicki Minaj on stage during her Pink Print tour to shout out Drake, but not to apologize. He said, I was just upset as a fan. Shout out to Drake. Let him be great in all the lanes he's great in. Drake then unleashed a song aimed
aimed at Meek Mill titled Charged Up. He says in the song, Ninjas snitching on us without no interrogation. I stay silent cause we at war and I'm very patient. Done doing favors for people cause it ain't like I need the money I make off a feature. I see you ninjas having trouble going gold, turning into some so and so's that no one knows. Meek Mill wasted no time to respond to Charged Up on Twitter and later on stage. Baby Lotion Soft, he tweeted. I can tell he wrote that one though. I heard that shit. That shit was very soft. Baby Lotion Soft, he reiterated on the Pink Print Tour. Meek Mill even referenced the infamous beef between Notorious B.I.G. and Tupac. We aren't going to focus too much energy on that, but I'ma let you know, when it comes to this rap shit, Biggie and Tupac had to die to become the greatest. If you're gonna be the greatest of this shit, just make sure you're doing your pen game and keep it all the way a hundred. Nicki Minaj also shared a few words on ghostwriting during her Pink Print show. See? A bitch ass ninja can't write my raps. You know why? You don't have the heart or the mind frame or the intellect. You don't even know how to pronounce the words in my raps. Drake didn't wait for Meek Mill's response. While people slept, Drake went ahead and released another diss freestyle aimed at Meek Mill, titled Back to Back. A standout line from Back to Back that quickly flooded timelines was one referencing Meek Mill's opening slot on Nicki Minaj's Pink Print Tour. Is that a world tour or your girl's tour? I know that you gotta be a thug for her. This ain't what she meant when she told you to open up more. Twitter was then filled with memes of Meek Mill, who was collectively pronounced the loser of the rap beef between the two. Even though Meek was the one who started it all, he ended up taking a big hit to his reputation for years to come. And there you guys have it. What are your guys' opinion on Kendrick Lamar coming out of his hiatus to diss Drake and Cole? Do you think they'll respond? And if so, who do you think will end up winning? Let us know down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Like I'm, I'm ready for this. That's right. Yeah. I'm, I'm That's ready right. to see it. And I don't even want to wait to Dreamville Fest like for a response. I feel like it needs to be. That's right, Cole and Drake. It needs to be now. They can't take the high road. Mm. Kendrick been asking for smoke for years since control. Well, Cole can take the high road, honestly. No, Cole's, Cole. the, one, Cole's the one that really need to jump out because you said you was Muhammad right. Ali and you got an no, album coming out. what? Yo, yes, you the one that really no, need Drake's to say something. No, Drake's the one that really need to come out because Future and Metro got the beef with Drake. They don't follow Drake. They didn't unfollow Cole. Oh they don't follow They don't follow Drake. Who don't follow Drake? Not the ooh. <laughs> what? <Right. laughs> Metro unfollowed Drake. They tweeted out, we don't trust you. And then the album dropped, we don't trust you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The album is called We Don't Trust You. Yes. And they unfollowed him. Whoa, so you know that means crazy war. It <laughs> 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 Well, we, we gotta get into two others. We gotta right, get into two, the two others, guys. Others, all right. I I wanted to do the Big Sean freestyle. I know Big Sean dropped the new record today called Precision, but I feel not like right the, now, Sean. The, Wait a minute. Stop. stop. Not stop. right now, Sean. Sean. Uh, let's, let's Sean. Get into the, this is what the, always happens to you, Sean. Stop. You always get lost in the sauce let's of the big three. Let's freestyle. <laughs> this is Big Sean's freestyle. He dropped to promote the new record. You know what though? There was a year. There was a couple of years. Sean was lyrically better than than, than a lot of them. And I was I, I was saying that Sean was really really lyrically in his bag. He still is. Yeah. He yeah. still is. But there's a disconnect. What do you think it is? Probably what he just said. Lack of consistency. Yeah. Do you, do you think out of like I know the big three is Cole? I mean, is Sean four? No. Oh. What you mean? Why are you yelling? Like, Who's the big three again? The big three is Kendrick, Drake, Kendrick Future, Cole. Oh, Kendrick oh. Future, oh. and then it's Drake and Cole. That's no, the four. No, 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 no. 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 Why? Yo, Future in there. The, the big three is Kendrick Future, fill in the blank. But the, I know the other two is Drake and Cole. Lyrically, are Why you really doing putting that? Future with with Cole? I'm just talking Kendrick about musically and not lyrically. Like, are we doing that? And, I'm just saying all right, musically. we, we got to get into the other two. All right, you got to keep Cole in the top.